Hi, everyone. Welcome to Gloria's Platter. Thank you so much for being here. And I really appreciate your presence. So let's see what we need to make our beef rolls. They are also called croquets. First of all, I am going to show you the ground beef. And I am going to saute the ground beef without any oil. I hope you can see it. Initially, my plan was to add some oil, but then because the ground beef, when it's been cooked, it brings out some oil. I will not add additional oil, okay? Oh, let me get the music started. Music is by Thrive Together. That's Kevin's channel. Oh, hi, love to travel with Wave. Thank you so much for coming. Happy Saturday. Is the music too loud for you? Hi, come Heather with Heather. Thank you so much for coming, Heather. Is the music too loud for you? So while it's cooking, let me show you the rest of the ingredients. I have cut the onions very finely. I have tomatoes, green chili, and garlic and, uh, garlic and ginger. Music is fine. Thank you so much. Hey, Lori, step time. Thank you so much for coming. And I have uh, boiled and mashed the potatoes. I did not add anything. Heather, do you remember that incident? So this is just potato and I have used a fork and mashed it. And I have salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, oil for frying, flour, Breadcrumbs, I like to use Italian breadcrumbs. It adds flavor and also nice aroma. And then one egg. Yeah, Heather, you surely can make this tonight. If you have the ingredients, please go for it. I, I am choosing the other side of the kitchen today to see if you have a better vision on this stove. Over here, this uh, burner is faster, so let me know if you prefer this angle or the other angle when you when the laptop used to be on the other side of the kitchen. Oh, hi, Betty. Thank you so much for coming. Facing reality, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you guys. Facing reality, when is your live stream today? Is it, at, is it in 45 minutes? So as you can see, when it's stir frying, the oil is coming out and I'm going to add my garlic and ginger. I really love to add garlic and ginger here because it adds a lot of flavor. Okay, let me add the green chili and the onions. Hey, Michael's Adventures. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, hi, Pete. 
you're in two different places at the same time thank you so much for being here guys i can always count on you thank you so much you will get fed up of me saying thank you but I, it really means a lot to me so let's cook the meat for about five to ten minutes until they're not pink anymore Add the salt. Black pepper. We like our food spicy, so I mean you can adjust the spice level according to your taste. And this is cayenne pepper. But it's like go easy on the pepper. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, for the copyright free music. Now let me add the tomatoes. I like to increase the flame because I don't want the tomatoes to be watery. Who is hungry today? Oh, you love cayenne? Love to travel with way. Yeah, me too. Whoops. When I make these, our younger son, he likes to eat these with the chili sauce. More, more chili. I like to eat these uh, on his own because I like to taste the food. I'm not much into a lot of sauces at, or a dip. Oh, you just ate? Oh, come on, Betty. You're not going to say no to this. Okay. Time to add the potatoes. I sometimes add like a... Um, teaspoonful of um, lemon extract into this but today I'm not gonna do it now talking about croquets I want to tell you some people they like to make this and then put it in the food processor and process it as a pate but I don't like to do that for the simple reason I like to Kind of bite into it, you know. I want it crunchy. How do you prefer? Do you like it all like a pate being fried, or do you like to feel that you're biting into tomato and onion? Let me know. And the whole idea of um, adding the potatoes is that it's going to help me. Form the croquets. Just meat won't stay in hold its shape, you see. You can see how it's binding together. Sometimes I add a little bit more potatoes, but today I thought I want more meat taste than potatoes.
Okay, I feel that I need a little bit more cayenne pepper. Heather, you keep making those uh, pastries. That's wonderful. But today, uh, I might make a little bit of pastries with this as the, as the filling. Okay, so that's ready. I'm turning the fire off and I need to cool it because it's so hot I can't touch that. Give me a minute to get some ice. There's my eyes. This is faster, faster cooling method. everybody doing today? How is the weekend going? Right, so I'm turning the oven on. I have lined the baking tray with parchment paper. Better be careful. I don't want a big flower mess like last time. Okay. So I'm going to show you two methods of uh, making two appetizers today. And you will remember how I made the spinach and cheese swirls last time. So I'm using the same puff pastry sheets. Last time I did the mistake of keeping it outside for too long. So today I kept it in the fridge and I just took it out of the fridge. So this is not the one I am. I have on uh, on top of ice. This is just what I have uh, just cooked. Thank you. 
spread it evenly. Well, what am I doing? I should have space to fold it. Fill it with some water. Now I can always cut this after baking, so I am going to transfer it to the baking tray, okay? Here it is. Let's hope I'm able to form them into little balls or croquets. Oh, not bad. Ouch! Blow, blow. Now it's still too hot. Okay. Anybody I'm missing here? Uh, oh, hi. Hi, Candid Explorer. Thank you so much for coming. It's just too hot. Can you see the steam? I'm going to add a little bit of breadcrumbs into this. You know what I could do while I'm waiting for it to cool down? I'll make the Let me get the egg. I'm going to brush the top of the pastry with egg. Feel free to add a uh, couple of drops of milk on it so that you don't get the brush mark. Ready, are you hungry now? Wait till you see the finished product. Okay, so. I'm gonna add this egg into this. some water let's 
some salt. Let's not make it too thin. Welcome to everybody, even to those who are watching later. Thank you so much. We need a little bit more water. Who is in two places at the same time? In Tuba Chat and here. <laughs> I know somebody, not telling. So make sure there are no lumps. Okay, that's ready. I guess I can work with this now. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this was my idea to form them into rolls. Okay, the oven is ready. That means I need to deal with that. Let's check it in 16 minutes. Don't worry if you don't get this perfect shape now. Even later on, you can you can uh, shape it better. Yeah, please do give me thumbs up. Thank you so much, Betty, for reminding everybody. You're such a great supporter. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. See, aren't you glad I didn't use any oil? It already is oily. And then we are going to deep fry these. Coat them and then deep fry. How 
Hi, Direct Journey. Thank you so much for coming. How many steps today? I think I have less than 11,000 today. Betty, you never joined that uh, challenge, right? Maybe next month. That's 11. And I can make one more using this oh, two. and a small one. Who wants a small one? Uh, not me. <laughs> okay, let me wash my hands properly, guys, because it's so oily. get ready for 14. In the meantime, I'll get the oil ready for deep frying. I'm using a shallow frying pan today so you guys could see what I'm doing. you like this angle or do you prefer the other side of the kitchen let me know okay let's go So this is where I said you can arrange the size, shape it better rather. See? Anybody want to give me a hand? Heather, can you come over please? <laughs>
Oh, by the way, uh, happy Father's Day to fathers in the chat today. To everybody who joins me. If you are a father or a father figure. I should get a fan, a mini fan in the kitchen <laughs> because this heat. What's the weather like it where you live, guys? This wind this summer is gonna be pretty hot here. I missed anybody welcoming anybody welcome guys thank you so much for being here Six more minutes for the pastry. Wash my hands again. Okay, so as you can see, these need a little bit more coating. Because while it's dry, I don't want it to break. And while you are watching some of them being fried, I will record them again. check if the oil is yeah it's ready so don't overfill the pan just put a maybe four uh oh see it broke and because the mixture is already 
cook. You just have to brown them. Three more minutes on the oven. Run them over. I'm going to have it as two because it just, I don't want to trust it. What would you like to eat this with? You want ketchup or chili sauce? Yeah, they're done. So I like to take them out and put it in a colander. Afterwards, I will transfer these onto a plate that has um, a paper towel. How many can you eat, guys? <laughs> I could eat about uh, three, I guess three. see who is here he changed it oh glad that you are here thank you so much for coming how are you hey media life thank you so much for coming hey inspired by cake all of it oh you can eat all of them okay now the oven is ready so let's check back The pastry needs a little bit more cooking. You can see it's not that brown, so I'm going to keep it for another five minutes, okay? You know, because I added um, Italian breadcrumbs, 
it really has a great flavor. I mean, an aroma also. It just makes you want to eat them right away. But I'm not going to eat without sharing with you. Let me show you. Look. Look how crunchy they are. You hear it? So I'm transferring those ones onto a plate with paper towel. Well, these are ready. Should I put these in? I don't want to take a chance because they are already injured soldiers. <laughs> Look. Aww. Let's hope they don't break. Do you like the music, guys? Every day I choose a different one. Let me increase it. You don't need to fry them on very high heat because they will break, but not very low heat either. Oh, the pastry is coming up nice. Two more minutes. Uh-oh. It's opening up. What do you think? Betty, would you be hungry now? Pretty sure you will be eating some of this. So who would like some ketchup with it? I'm going to serve it with ketchup. Good? Okay. Before I see to the oven, I will take these out. Otherwise, this will be burnt.
Okay, fingers crossed. good I can turn the oven off look at this I will do is cut this into small bite-sized pieces and so okay this survived See the one that kind of open, still not that bad, huh? go guys all for you all for you yes i like it all brown golden color so right so next time you bring ground beef you know what to do if you're not a beef eater you can uh, substitute it with chicken or fish or make it all vegetables. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Yes, I want everybody to dig in. Just dig in and eat. We're not going to fight over. <laughs> Oh, you want to see one open? I hope I don't burn my hand by doing so. Okay, let me try. Let's see. Now, which one was fried first? Still hot. Uh, I'll use the knife. What do you think? Here is the first bite for you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining today. I really appreciate your presence and uh, I hope everybody enjoys the rest of the weekend. Thank you so much. Kelly Billy, Chicken Ranch for being here, Betty, everybody, K-Elastic, Pete, everybody. Thank you so much. And um, I hope to see you at your place soon. Okay? Right. Okay. All the best. Take care. Love you all. Bye. Happy Saturday and happy Sunday to the Aussies. Bye.